Controversy at a school in Michigan. Deerfield High School near Chicago is being accused of promoting homosexuality by letting gay students describe their personal experiences to incoming freshmen. Matt Foreman, executive director with the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force, is in our NBC News Bureau there in uh, Burbank, should be. That's not the man you're seeing there. That is there from Washington, Peter Sprague, the vice president for policy at the Family Research Council. We had you both flipped anyway, but the guy with the white background, that is Peter, and otherwise it's Matt there. So Matt, I'll begin with you to clarify for everybody. For starters, please describe for us the program at Deerfield High School and why you think it is an appropriate time and place for a discussion of homosexuality. Well, this is part of a, a broader program to help uh, incoming uh, high school people become acclim uh, acclimated to high school, get used to it, understand uh, how they can fit in. And it's perfectly appropriate, just as it is for African Americans and Latinos and Christian kids, to talk about their experiences in high school. Uh, for gay kids to do that, it's a reality that there are gay kids in high school. They're coming out earlier and earlier, and they are disproportionately the victims of violence, bullying, harassment. Okay, parents who object to all this, they apparently can keep their children out uh, of these programs, but some want the entire program eliminated. So, Peter, do you support going that far, eliminating the entire program? Oh, I think it would be much better to eliminate the entire program. Uh, there are two principal problems with this kind of program. The first is that... Um, the school is introducing a highly controversial issue, but presenting only one side of that issue, uh, the one that is favorable to homosexuality. And th that's called viewpoint discrimination, and courts have ruled that that violates the free speech rights of people who disapprove of homosexual behavior. And the second concern is that this may encourage some kids to prematurely label themselves as homosexual or bisexual. I mean, there's one survey that uh, of 12-year-olds showed that 25% of them were unsure of their sexual orientation, and yet surveys of adults show only about 2% identify as homosexual or bisexual. So we don't think that 13 and 14 year old kids should be encouraged to build their personal identity around their sexual uh, desires or their sexual behavior. You know, Matt, the assistant superintendent Deerfield says, here's the quote, we have a great deal of pride in the program. We don't feel that we are overstepping any boundaries that most parents would feel are inappropriate. She says she believes it's pretty much just a small minority of parents who have a problem with this program. So what do you think is likely to happen with it? Well, I think it's absolutely true that it's a very small percentage of parents who would have a problem with it. What our opponents do is they spread these lies, these myths, this disinformation that this is somehow part of a gay agenda, that this is propaganda, that these kids are recruiting. It's all nonsense. It works for our, our, to our opponents' political advantage, but it's time. All these kids are doing is talking about their lives. They're not recruiting. The only agenda here is making these schools safe for all kids, gay or straight. That's not a gay agenda. That's that's an American agenda. And I'm curious, well, um, yeah, Peter, go ahead, respond. Well, I, I was going to say, if people want to learn more about what this agenda really represents, they, they can uh, go to our website at frc.org. We have a pamphlet on homosexuality in your child's school that details all the steps. This type of program is just the tip of the iceberg. Okay. This your propaganda is so full of lies, myths, misrepresentations, that's what causes violence against our kids. You gotta stop these lies and stop spreading them and stop scaring people about gay people. We're God's own well, children, we, we're created in his own image and likeness. Not, we, I don't know why you have this obsession with homosexuality. Well, we believe that all kids should be protected against bullying and harassment, but that all of them should be protected equally, and that we shouldn't be singling out uh, uh, individual groups for special protection. I mean, even you the gay lesbian and straight education network has surveys that show that uh, mo the, the single biggest category of bullying and harassment is is because of kids uh, the way they look or their body size so are we going to have panels of overweight kids speaking to freshmen telling them that it's okay to be overweight is that how to all do right. that problem? all right gentlemen we have to let that be a rhetorical question right there but want to make sure i identified you both clearly for those who are just looking at you on the right of your screen uh, that, that would be helps. matt foreman and then on the left of the screen peter sprague gentlemen thank you so much Thank you. And 